Hello and welcome to our little channel. This is the fantastic idea, the puppet show, a Pinocchio slash brick set slash marionette. The original designer and seller in China is the company Wakey and the international distributor of this set is JM Bricklayer. So it depends where you buy it. If you buy it out of the links under my video, then you get the chain bricklayer version. Um, if you buy it directly, perhaps in China over an, another seller, you get the wakey version. So just to inform you, if you want to help out the channel, buy the chain bricklayer version. Uh, I, this is not an affiliate link, but it's a link that is um, so they know you came from me. I don't get money, I don't want affiliate. Okay, item number is 70002 and we have 1900 pieces. Yes, a Pinocchio. The bag, the back. So, five building steps, some small instructions, and then. So what is nice about this instruction is that all the new parts are fully colored and all the older parts are desaturated. So you know exactly where you are and what the color the old piece has. So no problems at all. Okay, uh, most of the parts you see um, are prints. Print, 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 sticker. Sticker. Sticker, print, 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 sticker. Uh, the clock is, that was a print. Yes, so everything that is on one normal piece is printed. Everything that goes over more pieces here, over three slopes, that are stickers. I can understand that and I can live with that, it's okay. It's not the best, the perfect solution, but a very good one. So at least we have a few, few uh, stickers. Okay, oh, that's no, it's on, on the other side, I'll show you later. Okay, 1900 pieces. Instructions, no problem, very good. No mistakes, nothing. The piece quality is really, really good. The clutch power, everything is good. Color consistency, no problems at all. I don't know how the video will look uh, after the production, so this is the normal brown. The normal brown. Not the dark brown, it's the reddish brown from Lego. It's, it's the same color. Perhaps it looks a little bit brighter here or a little bit darker. I don't know how it will look. Here on my smartphone it looks a little bit much more reddier, but it's the normal, so that you know. The red and the yellow are matching nearly exactly the, the, uh, the Lego colors, so everything is fine. So building time for these 1900 pieces um, was around five and a half, five, five and a half hours. It's a pretty forward build, makes a lot of fun. Um, it's not spectacular, so you, you don't have seen pictures uh, from the assembly. You only seen pictures of the final product, but the assembly is really, you build a torso and um, with a lot starts on side. <laughs> bring a lot of slopes and, and tiles on it, build two arms, build two legs, <laughs> build the head. Uh, yeah, this is a big form piece. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like form pieces, I can understand this, but for this set that is meant to be a marionette too and yeah, I like the, I like the, this, this face. Perhaps not the eyes, the eyes are a little bit strange, um, but the rest is really okay and you, you definitely recognize that this is Pinocchio, even without this here. Okay, we have the possibility to change the nose here. Um, this is the longer version, the lying version, and to be honest, uh, I don't know where I put the short version, the normal version, so sorry for that, because <laughs> I assembled this here uh, three or four weeks ago, I had to wait a little bit for, the, um, for Chain Bricklight to get it to Amazon. So this is the reason. And after four weeks, uh, I don't know where I put this nose. Sorry for that. Uh, I have to check. Uh, 
normally I have uh, a little cup with all the rest pieces, over pieces, and so perhaps I find that cup <laughs> and it's in there. If not, you can imagine that the other nose is, uh, I would not say exactly the half, but uh, I remember it, it is half of this uh, long version. Okay, uh, some really cool thing I didn't expect when I saw it is, I am bring down my ring light. So there's a LED built in here and a battery. So that's nice. And if this is for your daughter, she can yeah, bring in here some rings or earrings or something, amulet, I don't know. So and perhaps rubbers, rubbers, not rubbers, rubbers. Don't think, okay, there could be something uh, very expensive and worth to steal in uh, a Lego Pinocchio. Not a Lego, you know. In Germany there's a discussion uh, 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 if it is allowed to say Lego to all kind of brick sets. Lego, <laughs> I can imagine, is really strong against it. Um, but a lot of people uh, would be happy if we could say Lego to all brick-based playthings. <laughs> okay, um, like I said, the quality of the bricks is really, really good. The quality of the stickers is good. The instructions is good. The quality of the prints is good. So this is a really nice set. I like it very much. I think it's cute. I think it's something different than we normally see, so it's an extraordinary set. Um, it's really lovely and detailed. We have so many prints in this set. It makes a lot of fun to assemble. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. Um, the time is all right with five to, to five and a half hours if you take your time and not building like a <laughs> I have to get rid of it. So. I think this is a really good set, a really good set. The only thing perhaps you can say, okay, the, the big form piece, but the rest, ah, there is nothing I can say against it. And I am not a big uh, fairy tale type, so, but yeah, I am 51, I grow up with the Disney Pinocchio, I have seen it literally 20 times or something like that. and so. I like this set very, very much and thank you Wakey and Shane Bricklayer for doing this. Um, that's gorgeous. That's not a set you buy for your children. Pinocchio is, mm, I believe, not a figure uh, today's teenagers or, 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 or childs uh, like. Uh, this is for people in my or age or perhaps a little bit younger or even older. Um, uh, they have good childhood memories of reading the book or get the story in TV or there's even an animated TV series out of the 80s and yeah, so great memories for a very well, worldwide well-known fairy tale and the actual new movies, oh my god, was this horrible. The last Pinocchio movie, that was horrible, really, really horrible. But the old Disney one, that's perfect fit for children. Okay, so nothing more to say. It's a really good set. If you like what you're seeing, you make nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Everything I said is true. The quality is amazing overall from the packaging. Oh, that's one, one extraordinary cool thing. Here, you get these little finger protectors. Here. Best regards, protect your finger. That's nice. <laughs> That's a cool idea. So two cool ideas in the set. The, the possibility to make a marionette out of it and the finger protectors. Okay, um, now I try to get this here to the marionette version and show it to you. If I fail then this video end here. If I succeed, we will see uh, additional some seconds of me trying to be a puppeteer. I um, 
yeah, try to be a puppeteer. It will look yeah, very stupid, but I hope I, I can show it to you. Um, the chords here will be attached here to these pieces. Then here, oh, over the wrist, that's a little bit strange that they, okay, they want to make a hole in here. You make it around the wrist and then the the axle goes into the head. That's, oh. If someone told me years ago, I would any time in my life put the axle in a Pinocchio head. Uh, I don't know if I would believe this person. Okay, so thank you for watching. Perhaps you see some additional footage in some seconds. If not, then it was, I had no time. The dog was against it. It felt uh, out of its, <laughs> it disassembled totally during uh, to, 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 to build it into the other version. You will see. Okay, thank you for watching. I am Frank. Have a good time. Bye bye. Oh. I did it. Um, I don't make it perfect now for this video. I didn't want to shorten here my chords. It is necessary. Uh, if you really want to play with it, you really have to put the real length though. The, this for the feet is too much. Um, yeah, and it's not really good to control, but you can lift up the arms here. You need your finger a little bit. You can, if you put this here, you can really. Uh, if I made the chords shorter, I w it would be easier uh, to control it, but you can control it. So it it's possible, and I believe with the chords in the right length, uh, you really can make a little bit of a marionette play with this here. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.